Mr. and Mrs. North, starring Barbara Britton and Richard Denning. smell the perfume from here. Darling, don't you trust me? Completely. In every respect. Uh -uh. Now, may I have a letter? Well? Jerry, it's in Chinese. It'd be no problem for you. Jerry North, I can eat chow mein. I can't read it. <laughs> Neither can I. And that's why we're going to China down for dinner. Oh, wonderful. Jerry, what is this letter? Who's it from? Well, it's, uh, it's postmarked Hong Kong, but I can't read the signature. However, it mentions Professor Lee Po. Remember I published his book, Heartbeat of China? Yes. Oh, he's a wonderful man and a great patriot of free China. Probably a fan letter. At any rate, uh, we'll get Lee Po to translate it. I don't see how they write it, much less read it. <laughs> well, come on, get your hat and coat and make it chop chop. We'll go see Lee Po and find out what this is all about. <laughs> Professor Lee Poe at home? I'm sorry the professor is out of town. Oh, that's too bad. Well, I'm his publisher, and we came to ask his assistance. You see, uh, we have a letter to translate, and, uh, well, it may be important. I will give it to Mr. Wing, the professor's secretary, perhaps. He can help you. Oh, thank you. Will you step inside, please? What is the name, please? Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Noy. Isn't it exquisite? Yeah, beautiful. Jerry? Yes, dear? Oh, oh, the room. Yes, yes, indeed. <laughs> Look at this ebony screen. Oh, it's inlaid with pearl and ivory. Oh, Jerry, wouldn't that be beautiful in our living room? It certainly would. We could sit in front of it and have egg foo young every night. <laughs> <laughs> Good news. Li Po is dead. You may now carry out my instructions regarding the stone idol. What about Li Po's list of our members and activities? If the police get that list, it will ruin us. It has not been found. We must continue the search. Any further questions? Everything is clear, Comrade Wing. The meeting is adjourned. But remember, the cause needs funds, and we have not met our quota. Collect it. Mr. Wing. What do you want? There are visitors here. Who are they? People by the name of North. They have a letter in Chinese to translate. They are friends of Lee Poles. This is an expose of our entire organization. We must have time to forge a substitute letter to give them for the translation. Wong, while I see them, you go outside and call me, long distance. 
You are Li Po, understand? Yes. But first, fix this room and remove the flags. This beautiful, Jerry, do you think it's expensive? Oh, not more than two or three million. What? Chinese dollars, that is. <laughs> Mr. Wing will be most happy to receive you now. This way, please. Good evening, Mr. North, uh, Mrs. North. I'm John Wing. I'm honored to receive you in Professor Lee Poe's absence. Won't you be seated? Oh, thank you. Well, it's uh, too bad the professor's away. I'm anxious to see how he's getting on with his new manuscript. You know, his heartbeat of China has been very well received. Uh, when will he be back? I'm not sure. He's taking an extended vacation on the advice of his physician. Uh, Miss Ling tells me you... You wish this letter translated? Well, I'd certainly appreciate it. You see, Jerry can't read Chinese. He doesn't even speak it. Many other people have the same trouble, Mrs. North. Unfortunately, the translation will take a little time. It's written in the classical form. Oh, well, uh, suppose we go to dinner and then uh, come back. Will that give you time? Well, I... Uh, I have an engagement in an hour and a half. Uh, will you return by then? Uh, could you recommend a good restaurant, Mr. Wing? One where the rice is heavenly? Well, uh... The Lotus Garden restaurant is excellent. Excuse me. Hello? Yes, this is John Wang. Very well, put him on. It's the professor on long distance. Hello? Yes, professor. How are you feeling? Good. Everything is fine. Your publisher and his charming wife are here. Yes, I'll take care of everything. No, nothing special. Stay as long as you like. Of course. Of course. Very well, sir. Let, let me talk to him. Oh, hello. Hello. Oh, I'm so sorry. He hung up. He asked me to give you his very best regards. Oh, uh, thank you, and uh, give him our regards when you write. Well, I guess we'd better be going. I'll see you in an hour. <clears throat> Good to see you, but I'm always afraid for you. You are kind, but in our work, fear is a luxury. Chris, I have Lipo's list of active communists. That's very dangerous, Ling. Supposing they find out. I know they would kill me. For myself, I'm not worried. But I am afraid to keep the list in the house where Wing might find it. I want you to take it. No, I cannot. You're a coward? No, I'm a patriot. Like most other Chinese American, I despise those who destroy our democracy. But I'm already a suspect to Wing and his men. The list won't be safe with me. Perhaps you're right. Look, those people that's coming in the door, their name is North. They are friends. Warn them to be careful. We'd like some dinner. This way, please. Well, ah, listen to this. Your ship will reach a bright harbor. Well, that's nice. <laughs> Let's see what I get. Jerry, look at that. Beware, you may be facing danger. That's a strange thing to put in a fortune cake. But Jerry, it's been printed by hand. Say, uh, do you know what this means? My wife found it in one of these tea cakes. No, sir. I have no idea. Well, if that's supposed to be a joke, it's a pretty grim one. Who would play a joke like that? I'm sorry. I'll bring another. Perhaps it'll contain more cheerful tidings. No, never mind. Just bring us the check. Who do you suppose? 
suppose would have put that in there? Maybe someone in the kitchen with a creepy sense of humor. Oh. Are you friends of Professor Lee Paul? Well, yes. Do you know him? I have the honor. We have trouble, great trouble without him. Really? Well, I'm sure when Lee Paul returns... If Lee Paul does not return, all of his farm will be in great danger. Almond duck takes two days to prepare. Too long for Western cooks. They, re they find it much easier to open can, save time and money. <laughs> I'm sure they do. If when we want almond ducks, we'll certainly come here. Thank you, thank you so much. Let's go. Uh, say, uh, do you have any money? I, I don't have enough. Well, that household check you gave me this morning, if you don't mind cashing that. I don't think you'll have any trouble, but um, just in case. Too much. What did you say to them? Nothing. We talked about the food. You lie. I heard you say Lee Poe. What did you tell them? We shall return within the hour. Then you will talk. Slong whispered something to those two while they were sitting at the table. We heard only the name Lee Poe. I see. Is that all? Not quite. The girl, Ling, you sent her to the Lotus Garden? No. Why do you ask? I thought not. We saw her sneaking away from the restaurant when we arrived. Hmm. That is most interesting. You may go. But too long. No, no, not at all. In fact, the translation is not yet completed. Please make yourselves comfortable. Wonderful. Jerry, why can't we grow plants like these? I'd rather live in a jungle. Look at the size of this leaf. Oh, what could I found? Why, well, these are Professor Lee Poe's glasses. You know, this mounting is the finest carved jade. He showed them to me and told me that uh, one of the honor students at Shanghai U had them made for him. There's a Chinese inscription here on the gold someplace. Yeah, here it is. Yes, indeed. They are the professor's most prized souvenir. He was quite perturbed over losing them. I'll send them to him at once. He'll be very grateful to you for finding them, Mrs. North. And now, if you'll excuse me, I'll check on the progress of the translation. You know, it's strange about those glasses. The professor couldn't see a thing without them. Jerry, come here. Is that real jade? And it sure is. Uh-oh. Now I've done it. Jerry, look! Holy smokes, it's a dead man. I'll bet you anything it's Professor Lee Poe. Yeah, that fits in with his disappearance, all right. Right back so they don't know that we know. Wong. They have found Lee Paul. What do we do? Serve them tea. The special tea. We must detain them until we can dispose of the body. Mr. Wing asks you to have some tea and forgive his absence for a little longer. Look, I'm in kind of a hurry to get that letter. Forgive me for insisting, but if you must wait, the tea is soothing and the most tasteful to the lady. Well, what flavor is it? Jasmine from Formosa. Oh, let's have some, Jerry. Mm. All right. Look, Pam, this doesn't make sense. We ought to get out of here and get to the police. Instead of drinking jasmine tea from Formosa. Well, Jerry, we have to wait for that letter. Besides, that idle coffin over there makes me nervous, and, and tea is good for the nerves. Delicious, isn't it? It's tea. 
<laughs> Makes me feel lightheaded. <sighs> and sleepy. They're still asleep. Open lock. Take her out. I've never been here in this chamber before. Have you, Ling? You won't like it. No, you won't like it any more than this wire, which is already around your waist. Why, why was I brought here? Because I have long suspected you. And tonight, you were seen with the traitor of the Lotus Garden restaurant. We have searched for Li Po's list. All others have been cleared. Even the traitor, Chris Long, does not have it. You have it, Ling. Oh, oh, I do not. Or perhaps you do not have it, but you know where it is. And you will tell me, won't you, Ling? You see, she's here. All right. And here is 
where you get off. Pam. Pam, wake up. Pam. Pam. Very patient. Where is Lee Poe's communist list? You became a party member only to spy on us, didn't you? Why it hurts, doesn't it? It can hurt more. You are Chinese. You know we are masters at getting information from reluctant enemies. We are also a patient race and can use the kid glove. I'm telling you, this burned. Speak. Where is that list? Oh, Jerry. Oh, Jerry. Pam, darling, are you able to walk? We've got to get out of here. Come on. No, he tricked me, and then he, they are both free. She has a list. the Marines have landed. Come on, you. I still don't know how you kids got jammed up in Chinatown. This whole mess revolves itself around Lee Po's list, and I gotta find it. Well, it is pretty confusing, Bill. Well, it isn't you really see? confusing, Bill. It's really rather simple. You see, Jerry got a Chinese letter in Chinese, and so he came to Chinatown. Where else? The most beautiful girl opened the door, and there was the most heavenly screen behind her. Well, then, uh, it happened. Jerry went in, and, and he picked her jade eye out of an idol, and there was Professor Lee Po, and then we drank some tea. It got sort of hazy after that. There, there, there was a little a, a Chinese midget came by with a, with a human head on a platter, while, while a big fat man hit Jerry over the head. Bong! Oh, Just like that. And, and then we went up and down some quarters and in and out of a lot of rooms, and we got into a fight, and, and then you came along. I can't imagine who would have that list all the girl was talking about. I have it right here. <laughs> Lee Po's list of every Chinese communist in York. Holy smoke. This is directed by Ralph Francis Murphy. A John W. Loveton production. Produced by Federal Telefilm. Starring Barbara Britton and Richard Denning, featuring Francis DeSales. Presentation.